Welcome back to American Ground Radio. I'm Stephen Paul with Louis R. Avaloni. This is our celebration of our 4th of July special. Coming up this weekend on radio stations across the country, three-hour special where we ask people all over the country, what makes America great? And you know, we're coming up on the 4th of July, but you know, you hardly hear anyone say anymore, it's a free country. Just you. You're the only one. I mean, hardly. <laughs> I mean, I, just about. Yeah. I mean, growing up, most of us, Saying it's a free country was kind of the standard response right. you would make to somebody when you can't do that. It's a free country. So sue me, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, and the thing is, people still say so sue me. Well, no, they don't say it because people do it so much more now. We we listen to the so sue me. We stopped paying attention to the it's a free country. <laughs> well, I mean, we used to say, you know, basically, you know what, you do you mm-hmm. because you're entitled to your opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion, right? So anyway, I, but now your opinion gets you canceled or blocked or shamed. But our next guest mm-hmm. wrote a book, kind of that was emblematic of it's a free country. Okay, and the book is titled "Let Trump Be Trump." You just let him be who he is. Right. Don't package him. Don't polish him up. Just let him be that. And you know what? That is, I believe, one of the secrets in terms of how the American people came to love. So many, and mm-hmm. not all, not, not all. everyone. But think, people think about Trump, and they they realize Trump is who Trump is. He's he's not going to change. You can't change him. And and a lot of people really like that. And Corey Lewandowski was one of the first ones to pick up on that, and that's what his book is about. And he helped Trump become a success. America. And joining us now on the phone, Corey Lewandowski, former campaign manager for President Trump, back before he was President Trump, big reason why he became pr- uh, President yeah. Trump. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, also political consultant, author of the book, Let Trump Be Trump. You've seen him on Fox, CNN, and own Corey Lewandowski. Welcome to our 4th of July special, What Makes America Great? Well, thank you for having me today, guys. I appreciate it. And Lewis has actually got a copy of your book in his hand right now. Oh, yes. It's uh, it's in my library at home. I brought it up here to the studio because I knew we were going to be uh, talking with Mr. Lewandowski today. You know, this book, Let Trump Be Trump, you know, the title in and of itself uh, leads to so many other questions. What was the genesis of this book? Well, this this book, the first book, Let Trump Be Trump, written by Dave Bossy and myself is really, it's a re it's a reminder of the challenges that this candidate, Donald Trump had to go through to first beat a field of 16 Republican candidates who are highly qualified. And then what it took to beat the left wing media and Hillary Clinton to go on and serve for four years, the first four years as the president of the United States against all odds, because in this book, we detail what it's like coming down that escalator ride. We detail the hypocrisy of the media. We detail their bias. And it's a fun story, though, about our time being next to then-candidate Trump. And then at the end in the epilogue, we get the privilege to go in and spend some time with then-President Trump in the White House. And so it's a great read, and uh, everybody loves that book, Let Trump Be Trump. Yeah, absolutely. There are a lot of folks maybe listening right now that are somewhat envious because they say, how do I get a job like that? How do I get in a position to work with such a great man like Donald Trump? How did you get a job with Donald Trump? Well, look, I, I'm a very lucky guy, and the truth is that Dave Bossy, the co-author of this book, uh, introduced me to Donald Trump way back in April of 2014, so long before he had ever announced he was going to be running for president. He came up to uh, a little place called Manchester, New Hampshire, right outside of my hometown, and and he gave a speech. And during that speech was the first time I ever heard the words, we're going to make America great again. We're going to build a wall on the southern border. And then I fast forwarded uh, to December of 2014, and Dave called me again and said, why don't you go up to New York and spend some time with Mr. Trump? He's thinking about running for office. And I did. And lo and behold, he hired me on the spot. It has you know been a decision that has changed my life. And I think probably – the direction of the country for the better for uh, every American. We're talking to Corey Lewandowski, former campaign manager for Donald Trump. Uh, Corey, our, our question, you, you talked about Make America Great Again, again the, the campaign slogan for Donald Trump. The question we ask on this show every year, and we get such great answers from on it. On the 4th of July. On the 4th of July. The question we ask is, what is it that makes America great? Well, look, 
the independent streak that Americans have, the ability to fight for and never give up. You know, we have such a strong resolve. You know, what makes America great is our our grit and our determination and our history. Look, our forefathers did something that I don't know if any of us would have the guts to do today. They put their their fortunes at stake, their lives at stake, and they took on the greatest army at the time the world had ever seen. And it was a grind, and they did it because they knew they didn't want to live under a king. And so when I look at this great country today, I look at the people who make sacrifices, whether they're men and women in uniform in our armed services, whether they're men and women who serve as our first responders, that when we know we need them, they're there for us. Look, I am so lucky to have been able to travel around this country and see people from every walk of life who say, thank you, Donald Trump, for giving me the chance. Thank you for letting me build my business. Thank you for stopping the, the overzealous regulations that government has placed on my business so I can grow. What makes this country great is when we have an issue like COVID-19 that impacts everybody negatively, the best of America comes out. We saw companies retooling their factories, changing their work product, making it so that people can work in different environments than what they were accustomed to. That's why we're the greatest country in the history of the planet. All right, so it's the 4th of July. Folks are celebrating America. You have spoken about your appreciation for this country. When did you realize America was great? Do you remember when that moment was? You bet I do. Sure. I was seven years old and I was watching Ronald Reagan debate Jimmy Carter. It was 1980. And I listened to, I didn't know anything about anything, right? And I probably still don't know anything about it now, but I listened to this guy named Ronald Reagan. And he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make sure we have the greatest military I'm going to make sure that we're protected, and I'm going to stay out of your way. I'm going to make sure the government is not the so the problem, but it's the solution. And so, you know, what I heard by that at seven years old was somebody who, for some reason, just I, I agree with everything they had to say and said, that's the kind of leader I want to see in our country, someone who knows how important our strong military is, know that the government is not the solution to our problems, know that they have to get the government out of the way so people can run their lives and not get engaged. And, and from that moment, when I was seven years old to today, so almost 40 years later, I have, 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 have had those same very thoughts and having the opportunity to travel this country and talk to people. Uh, I think that by and large, that's what people want. They want less government, less regulation, less oversight, and they want a peace and prosperous place, place to live. Corey Lewandowski, we've got about a minute left here. Uh, it's been a rough year here in 2020 for this country, really all over the world, but, but certainly for this country. What do, you th- what do you think is coming up for the rest of this year for America? Look, our country is going to come back bigger and stronger and better than ever before. If you look you know, in the last couple of weeks from where the Dow Jones industrial average was way down to you know, 18,500, all of a sudden in the last few weeks we've seen the NASDAQ hit new highs. We, we unfortunately listened to the pundits who told us that we'd lose 8 million new jobs and said we gained 2 million. Look, our economy is opening back up. This president is bringing the greatest economy the world has ever seen back to life, and that means more money in people's pocketbooks. It also means we're going to do things a little differently. Maybe uh, we spend more time at home with our children, and we, we reconnect with some of those family members, and we're not running around as much. But I'll tell you what, I have so much confidence in Donald Trump that this economy is going to come roaring back bigger and better than ever before, that that's what's going to propel him to victory in November. Corey Lewandowski, thank you so much, and happy 4th of July. Thank you, guys.